What's up? What's up? What's going on, everybody? <clears throat> Hope you all had a great day yesterday. My day was so so. <clears throat> Big time let down spots by my Chicago Bulls, man. I mean, I was on them. I was on them. I was tough on them, man. Uh, first and foremost, uh, like, subscribe to the video if you like this video. Uh, I will be doing a giveaway. Uh, I was thinking about doing it this week, like a $25 giveaway or something like that, but I might save it until uh, uh, Thanksgiving or something like that. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I'm uh, just trying to figure out how I want to do a giveaway. I did one before. It was Mother's Day Fools. So it was strictly for the women. Uh, you have to be subscribed, uh, and I'll figure out. Uh, how to do it. I don't know. Maybe a comment or something like that. You got any suggestions? Let me know. Uh, one thing I must point out is uh, I don't know uh, if you guys have been following them or whatever the case may be, but uh, if you if you have Twitter, and I think it's a must, especially like yesterday, any day, but uh, you have to follow Fantasy Labs NBA, all right? So you can get up-to-the-minute news as far as injuries and whatever the case may be. You have to know the injury report. You have to know you not you have to know the league. You have to know what these injury reports mean. Uh you have to learn the injury reports. Some some people have patterns like uh Embiid and uh, LeBron James and, you know, those guys will be questionable every day. So you you have to have – you have to know what it means when a player is out, who benefits, whose usage goes up, and things of that nature. But if you don't – you know, you can't be – you can't be around here knowing – not not knowing who's in and who's out, who's questionable and all of that. That, 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 that affects your money, you know. Uh, that affects your bet. And those injuries and they affects the team, so you have to be, you know, you have to you have to know your personnel, man. Throughout the league is major key. Uh, Fantasy Labs, you know, follow at Fantasy Labs on at at Fantasy Labs NBA on Twitter. You know, that's really really important. It's really important. Um, yesterday, guys like man, uh, Ant Man, they didn't get there for me. Uh, friends, 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 Wagner, he didn't get there for me. Uh, some bright spots was, uh, DeMar DeRozan. He's been crushing that, crushing that, uh, rebound prop. We've been, uh, we've been riding the shit out of that. Uh, um, OG Anobi, you know, he killed it for me. And, uh, um, Al Horford, he did his thing for me as well. Uh, so we've been riding those props and, and a few other props. Um, nothing is safe, you know, nothing is safe. Bet responsibly, always bet responsibly. Uh, I got scared off of my Cleveland Cavaliers yesterday, and uh, they 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 prevailed, man. They prevailed. I haven't been betting on a lot of games. Games has been so sketchy, you know what I'm saying? But what makes it it makes it fun, man. And then you know the props, props, props have been, you know, somewhat secure here and there. So let's get right into it. Quick video here. Uh, I could have made this video five hours ago, but there wasn't nothing out, and it looks like the same, the same thing, man. So you know, I, I'm just gonna go into convulsions about a few things. Like, uh, let's see. Yeah, they only have Jeremy Grant and Sadiq Bay out. I mean, yeah, so they don't have anything. So let me just go through the injury report. Tobias Harris is out, and we know Ben Simmons is out. And then, you know, Danny Green, he is a uh, he's uh, he's gonna be out. Uh so that looks like, you know, for the significant, you know, uh, players on these teams, that that's about it. Now, uh, uh, I don't have much for this game. Uh, we have a two hundred and eight and a half total here. Uh, Philadelphia on, on the road. It's a back to back for them. They're favored by six and a half. 
I just, man, Philadelphia has been playing some good ball. Um, Seth Curry, um, he's averaging 32 minutes, you know, uh, 17-3 and uh, I'll say two assists. But in every game he's played, he's hit, you know, except for one, he's hit two three-pointers. That's some good information there. Uh, in the absence of uh, Tobias Harris, you know, his last two games, he's went over 20 points. He scored 22 and 23. Um, in those two games, he had five or six rebounds, three or five assists. So, you know, he's out there, m- minutes equal opportunity. And, you know, and he's getting a somewhat of a usage bump as well, you know. So he does shoot a lot of three-pointers, you know. So, you know, he's a good source for that. And then, you know, you got guys like Jeremy Grant. He's going to be a high-usage player. Uh, but, you know, one game he took 20 shots. You know, the rest of the games he took 15 or less, but still in double digits. So he's going to be out there chunking up some shots. I don't really have too much for him. I might have to just do a stay away for him. Um, another player I want to talk about is uh, George's Nyang. He's been starting in the absence of, uh, I believe he's been starting. Don't quote me on that. But he's been popping up on the books. <clears throat> so in his last two games, in the absence of Tobias Harris, he's played 32 and 31 minutes, scored 18 and 21 points, three and five, uh, uh, three and five re- rebound totals. But, you know, he's been hitting the three. He's hit the three in each and every last one of his games that he's played. Uh, last two games, he went four for eight, and he went three for nine for three. So uh, he you know, his minutes has been going up and then, you know, he's somebody that you can look at. I don't like the pace of this game. It's not a, a ideal pace for me. Uh, K Cunningham, he's somebody who should be looking to rebound. I mean, you know, to bounce back. Now his now his first game back, he played 19 minutes. His second game, he played uh, 29 minutes. But, you know, he only has six points, two rebounds, and three assists. He, he was really off from the field going up against Milwaukee. He, he he went two for fourteen from the field. I'll be interested to see what his props is gonna look like. Shake Milton. Shake Milton is uh he's he's grad his minutes is gradually going up. He's played four games since he's been back. So, you know, I don't know if he's gonna pop up on the books or not. But uh <clears throat> um Tyrese Maxey has been getting, you know, a a, a decent bulk of the minutes. So, you know, uh, Tyrese Maxey has scored double figures in each and every last one of his games except for one. Uh, you know, he's got games with 14, 10, 16, 7, 14, 15, and 20. So, uh, you know, he's been having uh, mediocre assist totals, you know, here and there. And then, you know, he's not a source of three-pointers, you know what I'm saying? So if you pop up in that column, you could probably take the under. Uh, but you know, and then Joel B, Joel and B, he's just, you know, he, it is what it is with him. He almost had a triple double last game, but you know, that's what I, you know, that's, that's just a little rundown of that game there. Uh, let's move over to the next game since, cause, uh, Utah Jazz and Atlanta Hawks, 220 over under for this one. All right. Now we got some injury news right here as well. Don't talk about that. Uh. Donovan Mitchell is questionable for this one. Rudy Gobert is out. And uh, Hassan Whiteside is questionable, considered really probable. And then uh, Royce O'Neal is questionable. And then uh, we might have a Rudy Gay sighting soon. He's questionable, all right? Uh, If you don't know, he plays for uh, Utah. So, you know, Utah, they got some pieces over there. you know, they're strengthening up their bench. They have guys like, uh, <clears throat> they have, man, they have, they should, man, yeah, Rudy Gay should be a great addition. You know, they have guys like uh, Rudy Gay, Clarkson, um, Joe Ingles, and then you got uh, Rudy, uh, then you got uh, Hassan Whiteside coming off the bench. And they had someone else too, man. Uh, I forgot his name. What is his name? Uh, I forgot his name. Mm. Eric Paschal, yeah. So they got some pieces coming off the bench. So right off the back, uh, let's talk about uh, what do what do they have? Because I don't have much for this game. 
I looked at the props and I, and they didn't have anything. So I'll just have to talk. So um Hassan Whiteside, okay? Rudy get Hassan Whiteside will get the start, all right? So we all know he's a good source of rebounds. You know, he's about the half as a half as great as rebounder as uh uh Rudy Gobert, but he can get a, a decent amount of rebounds, all right? A nice chunk, and he'll be starting, all right? Because so in limited minutes, he will go, you know, go berserk from uh, rebounding. So uh, against Sacramento, he played his last two games, he played 15 to 17 minutes. Sac against Sacramento, he had 12 rebounds. Against Milwaukee, he had nine, all right? So, uh, you know, he's had point totals in 9, 4, 4, 10, 10, eight and six he hasn't played more than 20 he hasn't even played 20 minutes yet this year all right he has some rebound totals in 12 9 4 6 4 9 and 10 and like i said he hasn't played 20 minutes this year uh he'll be stepping into a starting role going up against atlanta faced up against uh what's his, uh clint capella and uh <clears throat> like i told you guys we won't be notified when Clint Capella's minutes goes up, but in his last three games, he's played minute totals in 33, 33, and 28, so it looks like he's broken this, broken that uh, minutes limit barrier. He had point totals and rebounds as in 13 and 16 in one game, 16 and 12, uh, 11 and 12, all right? So, looks like he's off that minutes limit, so, you know, don't be afraid to pull the trigger if you like anything there. Uh, uh, John Collins, he's just been getting a, a whole heap of ton of minutes. Uh, I don't have a lean in this game. It's supposed to be a close one. Keep an eye out on the, on the uh, injury status of uh, Donovan Mitchell. And, uh, you know, that's just about it for a rundown. I don't have any numbers in front of me. Uh, should be a good one. Should be a dog fight. Uh, I'm excited for this game, man. I don't have a lean. And let's move on over to the next game. Uh, Boston Celtics and Miami Heat. All right. Uh, this is a back-to-back -back for Boston Celtics. They'll be on the road. 215 and a half over under here. Uh, <clears throat> Seven-point spread. I have some mal interest in that one. Uh, so let's go right on over to the injuries for this game. Now, it looks like everybody's just about good to go. All the usual suspects, you know what I'm saying, are in. So that's a good thing. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's go with the points first of all here. Uh, interesting thing to point out right here. This is what I wanted to point out. They do not have, uh, they do not have um, Al Horford props up. So don't forget about it, all right? Uh, he's been crushing it. He's had a double-double, I believe, every game. So he's been doing very well. Uh, I should have hit him. And then his assist props are been, uh, are, are pretty well, good as well. So be on the lock, lookout for his points, his rebounds, especially his rebound prop has been sitting around seven and a half. So, uh, like I said, he's been crushing that every game. I've been eating off of that. Um, uh, Watch out for his rebound and uh, his rebound and assist combo. You know, you, you can probably even look at his points and rebounds and his PRAs. You know what I'm saying? So uh, keep an eye out on that situation there. Jimmy Butler, his points prop is sitting at 22 and a half right now. You get that at minus 110. He's hit that in his last three games and four out of his last five. Uh, so, you know, Jimmy Butler has been playing some good basketball there. Um, Tyler Hero. Tyler Hero has been playing some good basketball as well. Um, he's hit his point prop at uh, 18 and a half and four out of his last. I don't know. Really, he's hit that prop, point prop in uh, five out of his last seven games. His minutes total is topping out at 35, 32. Uh, 32, 27, 30, and 41, and 24. So he's been playing uh, a decent amount of minutes. He's went over three rebounds in every 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 game. He's averaging six on the season. Uh, he's averaging four four and a half assists. 
you know, so and I probably won't be able to get to any of those totals. He's hit a three pointer in every last game. He's been pretty hot as late as of late, especially in his last three. He's hit totals of three and six, four and eight, four of eight, four of six, one of six, one of six, and then uh, three of twelve and four of eight. So you know, he's taking a decent amount of shots. You know, his last two games he took nineteen and twenty shots. Uh, I mean, it's a lot to like about Tyler Hero. You guys know he's gunning for that six man spot. So it's doable. I don't know if I'll be if I'll go there, but you know, uh Boston has not been playing the best defense. Boston's props are not out as of right now, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh one prop that I do have some really, really, really good interest in, and he's probably gonna hit this more often than not. You're gonna get it at plus money. You guys know I like to take the over on uh Kyle Lowry's assist. Uh he's hit this assist prop in uh <clears throat> A decent amount of games since he's been back. He has assist totals in 9, 8, 5, 9, 8, and 6. Uh, even if you want to alter it for same game parlays, be my guest. But I like this. Excuse me. I like this assist prop at uh, 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 7.5. I am going to bet it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to sprinkle something on it. So uh, just to let you know, that's going to be one of my uh, official props right there. But I'm not going to uh, bet much. Uh, I do like, I, like I said, I do like the, uh, I do like the spot for uh, um, Al Horford every day. Seems like now, uh, I was kind of iffy on him, but you know. Now Bam Adebayo, uh, Adebayo. Uh, <clears throat> His rebound prop is sitting at ten and a half. Okay, he's hit this. He's hit this rebound prop every game except for one. All right, he has rebound totals in thirteen, nineteen, uh, nine. That's the one he missed, and then thirteen, sixteen, and thirteen. He's been killing it. Okay, going over here to his point total, uh, it's sitting at eighteen and a half. He's hit this, you know, twice. So you know, it's something. I, no, I'm sorry. He's hit this point prop. Uh, three, I mean, four out of his uh, last six games, okay? So uh, it's a lot to like about his point prop. I'm not even going to lie. I haven't been even betting on uh, uh, the Bam Adebayo's point. I mean, it, his, his his props, period, you know what I'm saying? And I, I feel bad about that, man, because he's been crushing it. He had been crushing that shit every fucking day. He had been crushing it. I'm salty about not being on top of that. Next game here we got going on here is... Uh, Houston at Phoenix Suns. Uh, we have a 217 uh, over under for this one. Uh, spread sitting at 10 and a half for uh, Houston Rockets. Man, these spreads have been juicy lately. Um, but, you know, injuries for this team, for these teams. Uh, DeAndre Ayton missed the last game. Uh, he has a questionable tag <clears throat> right here. So uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good chance, chance that he's probably going to go. Uh, we don't have. <clears throat> okay, so they they just brought they just brought these out. All right, so they just brought these out. I haven't went uh, I haven't went over them, but you know I'm I'm just gonna give you a, a quick rundown here. Uh, so who else we got on the injury report? Eric Gordon is questionable, which he never pops up on the injury report. And then you have D Daniel Daniel Tice. He's questionable. He missed the last game. Okay. Before I get into it, uh, let me talk about uh just in case. Uh, uh, oh, okay. So we got uh, Daniel House and Cameron Payne questionable for this one as well. All right. Um, before I get into uh, anything, let me talk about uh, any in 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 the event if uh, Daniel Tice happened to miss, uh, and then you get somebody like uh, this guy. His name is Alperin Sangoon. If he pops up on the books, then you know. I have some interest in him. Uh, I've been riding him since uh, preseason. You know, he's just a really, really good player. He, uh, he's a pretty decent player, man. He, you know, he's a great source of rebounds and uh, assists and things like that. He hasn't played over 24 minutes, all right? His last three games, his minutes has been creeping up. He's played 26, 20, and 24. 26 minutes the last game in the absence of uh, Daniel Tice. Uh, he's put up numbers at 6 and 4. Uh, going up against the LA Lakers, but the uh, the first game they played against the Lakers, he had eleven and seven, uh, fourteen and five against uh, Utah. Uh, 
you know, and just some, you know, some general, some fake decent numbers. Uh, but, you know, we'll have to wait to see if he pops up on the books and keep an eye out on the status of uh, of uh, Daniel Tice. OK, so uh, let's talk about Christian Wood real fast. Uh, Christian Wood, you know, he's had a double double in each game except for three games. OK, uh, this Phoenix D, uh, D, uh, ga this Phoenix team is hard for me to put a, a read on them. Uh, the usage is there for him, though. Uh, he gets to the line. He hits. He hits a, a decent amount of threes. You know, he doesn't hit a whole bunch of shots, but he seems to get there. You know, he seems to get there. His point prop is sitting at uh, nineteen and a half. He's only hit this three times, but you know, it, 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 he, 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 he's he's warming up. He's a really good rebounder with his point, his rebound prop sitting at 10 and a half. You'll get that for plus at plus money. So he's hit that rebound prop uh <clears throat> four out of his last seven games, but it's definitely doable. Uh 10 and a half. He can, you know, he can get that at any given night. Keep an eye out on the injury status over here. That's the major, that's a major, major, major uh uh um, key, uh, keeping an eye out on uh, DeAndre Ayton, Ayton's uh, injury status, which I think he's going to go. If he doesn't go, then you can look at somebody like JaVale McGee. If he pops up on the books, you know you know, you know, know what he can do. He can do some pretty good damage. Uh, <coughs> he's a double-double threat in uh, a limited amount of minutes. He hasn't played 10 minutes. He hasn't played 20 minutes, none this year. But, you know, last game he played 19 minutes against the Pelicans. He had 18 and 5. 8 and 7. He's got numbers in 7 and 11, 12 and 4, 9 and 4, 6 and 8. All of this, you know, his last two uh, games he played uh, 19 and 18 minutes. But before that, he's played 14, 11, and 13 and 15 minutes. So he can put up uh, numbers in a hurry. That's just in case he's... Uh, you know, pop up on the books or something like that. But, you know, I don't have too much interest. Pretty good spot for uh uh um um pretty good spot for uh Chris Paul here. His assist total sitting at ten and a half. Um I don't know if I'll be able to get there. We all know what Chris Paul can do. He's hit this prop um three out of his last six games. He has assist totals in 18, 10, 8, 11, 14, and 10. Do I, I I don't have to even you know go there though. You, we we know what Chris Paul is capable of. It's just a matter of fact: are you going there or not? And uh, I don't have too many leans in this one. You know, uh, there's some risk. Uh, there's some risk here as far as maybe blowouts or whatever the case may be. I don't I I I I I, I don't know what to expect nowadays. <laughs> you know, I don't know what to expect nowadays. Uh, Jenny Green has an interesting prop at 13 and a half as well. So uh, let's keep it moving to the last game on the docket. We have Oklahoma City Thunder going up against those uh, L.A. Lakers. Uh, 217 and a half over under here. Uh, <clears throat> L.A. Lakers are uh, favored by uh, 12 and a half. Uh, they'll be at home. So um, injury news and notes here. LeBron James is questionable. Anthony Davis is questionable. They'll have a questionable tag on them probably all season. Um, Dort is questionable here. Uh, Dwight Howard is questionable. And then Wayne Ellington has been questionable for the last few games. Uh, so, you know, there you have that. Um, these two teams, I mean, even from last year, we know what uh, Oklahoma City, every so often they get into some damn dog fights, you know, your guess is good as mine. Um, uh, so, um, you know, I uh, talking about these guys, I do like to target the Lakers team. You know, I like to target guys against Westbrook. I like to target guys against LeBron and AD. You know, they have to do so much for their teams. All right? They have to do so much for their respectively teams. But, you know, uh, I do have some I do have some interest, okay? So uh I just haven't nailed anything down, you know. Josh Giddy, I want to talk about him first and foremost, all right? This guy have his point prop sitting at what? Uh 
11 and a half. Uh, last time these two teams played, he had uh, 18, 2, and 10, okay? His last three games, he's uh, went to double figures. He's hit this point prop in two of his last three games. He's hit this point prop three out of his last five games, okay? Uh, you know, I, I'll have some mild interest in this, okay? Um, I think he'll be getting his, he'll get his minutes regardless of you know whatever whatever the uh, the score is you know he played 32 minutes his last time out so uh, I have some interest in that prop there. Um, Shagilis Alexander Alexander, we know he's gonna have all the uses you know in the world as long as this game could probably stay close. Uh, he's, he had been playing a high total of minutes as of late. Last time these two teams played, he had 27, 9, and 5. Uh, his last game against the Clippers uh, was a tight one. They led for a long, for a decent portion of that game. He had 28, 7, and 2. So uh, uh, I think that prop is definitely doable. I don't know if I'll get there, but that prop is definitely doable. The usage is there for him. He took 23 shots the last game. And then the last time these two teams played, he, he took 19 shots. Uh, his lowest uh, shot output of the season has been 15. Everything has been above that, you know, outside of those two games. So I have some interest there. And it, it, it'll it only be the points for me. I mean, uh, his rebounds and assists are all over the place. I just can't uh, I just can't nail down, you know, where, where he's going to be at with, with, with his assist totals. So uh, as far as, you know, the Lakers – the big three here, you got LeBron James, uh, Anthony Davis, and Russell, Russell Westbrook. Keep an eye out on the injury news. These guys are doing the heavy lifting. We already know that. Uh, Russell Westbrook, uh, he's hit this point total a few times as of late, you know. Uh, I, he's hit this at, he's hit it uh, f in five games straight. So that's something to keep an eye out on, okay. Last time these two teams played, he had a triple-double. And then, you know, as far as LeBron James and uh, Anthony Davis, you know, what you see is what you get with those guys. Uh, be safe out here today. This just about wraps up my video. I'll be doing some same game parlays today. Uh, I don't have a lean on a lot. I, I'm, I'll do a, I'll do a, so look, let me show you, man. Don't be this guy. Don't be this guy. <laughs> I right, don't be me, all right? But no, this right here was a Hail Mary. I probably threw three or four or five dollars on this. Uh, I mean, you know, and you know, my props, I do play them. Like I say, I do play them. I do straight bet them. So that's why I really lost out at. But, you know, it is what it is. But, you know, uh, what, what the pain was, was uh, I, I, I most next to never throw a, a money line on that. But I was just so, so into the bulls yesterday. And, uh, I threw the money line on there, and that's what cost me. You know, that's what cost me. Uh, I did. I did a soft. It, this was a soft same game parlay. I had uh, DeMar DeRozan uh, Levine for uh, 17 points or something like that. Curry for a few threes. Uh, Levine for a few threes. The ball ball for uh, four assists, and then I stayed safe with the four assists. I mean, four rebounds for uh, uh, DeMar DeRozan. Um, I just fell short on the money line. Uh, that money line gets my ass in trouble every time. But I will be doing some same game parlays today. Uh, I'll throw some of those in the. Uh, I'll, I'll 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 post some. So uh, be on the lookout for that. And uh, just a subtle five game slate today. Going, I'm going light. Uh, don't forget to look ahead. Always look ahead. Okay. Always look ahead to the next day. Target. Get yourself ready. With that being said, peace. I'm out.